Hi guys! Um, so today I have a super weird topic that I wanted to talk about. Well, it's actually not that weird. I think we all have this thought at one point, but we don't ever want to actually like look at it. Being addicted to our technology. I can't. I can't with this fucking cold. I cannot go to sleep without like having my phone and like, here's the routine I go through at night. I'll be in bed and I'll like, I'll be like, and then I'll have to go play on my phone before I go to bed. I have this dependency on it. Like, have you ever left your phone in a room? You go and you do something, like maybe you leave it up in your bedroom and you go down to the kitchen, and then I get back and I look at my phone and I'm like, oh cool, no notifications. I hate that, and I'm so like dependent on what my phone tells me. Going on like celebrities' Instagrams and looking at all the stuff that they have. I shouldn't care about the stuff that they have, like their new car or <laughs> Beyonce just bought a pair of shoes that was worth, I think like $300,000. That in itself is ridiculous, but like the fact that we cared about it was even more ridiculous. Why do we care how much Beyonce's shoes cost? Why do we care about whether or not Kylie Jenner actually got lip injections. I mean, like, we know now that she did, but, like, why do we care so much about having these ridiculous sized lips? Why do we care so much if Nicki Minaj has had butt implants? We criticize female celebrities way more than we do male celebrities, and we all know why. Let's not act like we're fucking stupid here. And that's another fucking thing. When people act like they are just stupid, there's a difference between being just stupid, like just not knowing what you're talking about, in which case you shouldn't be talking about it at all, or being ignorant. And recently, uh, a little friend of mine, she posted on Facebook about Black Lives Matter. She was like, I just don't get it. I just don't understand. Like, of course Black Lives Matter. And I was like, okay, if, Black Lives Matter, and it's obvious that Black Lives Matter. Why do you think there's a hashtag that's been started about it? Why do you think people are writing? Obviously, you don't fucking know because you're not black. And that's okay. I'm not faulting you for not being black. I'm not faulting you for not understanding why people are rioting or why people are so upset about it. But please don't try to say, well, I just I just don't understand. I just don't get it. And then all, all lives matter. It's just upsetting to hear such ignorant people talk about subjects they have no idea about. Like they have no clue what they're talking about, but they think that they're fucking experts in it just because they, they, like they're on social media and automatically they think that they can put their two cents in about a subject that they have no idea what it's pertaining about. Another thing, another one, another one. Let's talk about Vine. I fucking hate Vine. Why is Vine a thing? Like, it's six second videos. Vine famous? Like, that's a fucking term? Like, however you decide to make money is your fucking business. And if you're happy doing it, then no one can judge you. So many people who are untalented, mostly on Vine, they're not funny, they're not extraordinarily talented in any way. They just kind of, and some of them are racist. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't, I don't get, I don't, I don't understand it one fucking bit. I don't understand it, bruh. Let's talk about Kanye West at the VMAs. <laughs> He's running for president in 2020 and I am so fucking excited for that. What am I trying to say? Words are fucking hard to say. A lot of his music, the lyrics are just like, they're life changing. Like, I know that sounds so weird coming from someone who probably, you know, who looks like me, like I, I probably don't look like I listen to Kanye West very often, but I adore Kanye West. And I honestly, I, I can't wait for him to run for president. And I really hope he's actually running. I hope he didn't just say that. Like knowing Kanye, I really fucking hope he wasn't joking. It's just insane. Like to think how, how much power the internet has. We have this massive fucking like organism almost that's just, all interconnected, all of our phones, all of our computers, all of our, like, everything is connected through the internet. Our TVs, and I think about it and I'm like, wow, you know, we're so, we are so addicted to the internet. Nine times out of 10, we don't see it as addiction. 
people are like, what? No, it's just become a part of our daily lives. Yeah, well, meth becomes a part of a meth head's daily life too. It's something that we can enjoy. It's something that we like. It's something that's fun. One of my favorite authors, Aldous Huxley, um, the author, <coughs> the author of A Brave New World. He said, there is going to come a time when they, wh whoever you consider they to be, they won't have to coerce us into using or becoming familiar with mass control devices. We will openly accept them. We're moving towards such a technologically advanced era where we might have a currency that's all digital. In some aspects, that's really great. Exchange rates and you may never have to carry around cash again. But in other aspects, it's a terrible thing because whoever has access to those accounts um, can delete you off of the face of the earth and you'll have nothing. You'll have no money just by the click of a button. That's scary to me. That's terrifying. That there will come a time if we don't wake up where my life will be in the hands of other people. Something to think about. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this has been an awesome episode to film. I know it was kind of all over the place and scatterbrained, but uh, I had planned to film a video with someone yesterday, which was Monday. They ended up flaking on me, basically. I wanted to just see where I was gonna go with stuff, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm glad I went where I went. I'm glad I traveled where I traveled. I'm doing a juice cleanse for the next two days, and I am not looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, bye guys.